Hi friends, MD Vegan. <laughs> I make another banana milk soup today, but with cacao in pears yeah, and peanuts and walnuts. So a lot of nuts here. Cacao is also high in fat, so very nutrient dense, very different kinds of ingredients. And the other thing here is I combine again peanuts, bananas and ginger. That's an amazing combination. So there are many things to do that today. I will begin right away to make the soup. Yeah, banana soup is generally uh, based on bananas and nuts or seeds. Today I have peanuts. And that is not an easy combination because peanuts are a little bit critical with the flavor. They are low in fat and high in protein. I mean, still fat in peanuts, of course, but not as much as nuts and seeds. Peanuts are legumes, like beans and peas. So relatively low in fat. But the protein is high, and that makes it very special and nutritious. So if you eat peanuts, you are really full. <laughs> so very healthy. These are wild peanuts, organic peanuts, and three bananas or so, right? A little bit of soup. Yeah, the bananas are very healthy. I don't need to explain. And only one thing I have to say, um, I don't take too many peanuts here, because the more peanuts, makes the, te the, the flavor, the protein-rich flavor of the peanuts, I guess it is protein, I don't know, maybe there's another substance, I don't know, another <coughs> chemical in the peanuts, I don't know. Um, the, uh, this flavor of the peanuts, like metal a little bit, gets too strong if you take too much peanuts in this mixture. So a small amount of peanuts, relatively, is important. And it goes nicely with cacao, I tried that recently, very delicious. I have two, tea, uh, two tablespoons or one and a half tablespoons, three teaspoons or so. And cacao is always nice with sweetness. So I have some dates here to make it nicer. And ginger. Yeah. That's the other special thing today. So, uh, ginger is also nice with sweet. The balance in there is very nice. Yeah. Ginger can be savory in savory recipes or it can be sweet, very nice in sweet recipes. Here with cacao um, it is very nice. You have to try, especially with ginger, uh, especially with the peanuts. That's an amazing combination. I was surprised when I tried it first. So I put some water on top. Yeah, maybe half a cup to begin. I want to have a creamy but still runny soup. Yeah. So I have to get a little bit more water than in a smoothie or so. Let's get, let's start it, blender dance. <laughs> soaked and so yeah um, but I can soak it a second time I kind of blend it a second time after letting it sit for a moment but now I taste it to see the mixture is okay mm. there it is this special texture is okay I can set it aside the texture is okay and the flavor bring comes out perfectly fine with the texture and um, this special flavor here about peanuts, ginger and yeah cacao. Uh, the peanut and ginger makes it a little bit like um, I, don't, I can't explain you have to try this this the protein in there. Yeah yeah I've already had tasted that before it's one of the most amazing flavors really um, you have to, very special very delicious and as today is about chocolate I have these wonderful pears, these ripe pears, at home. I always get into the health food shop. I regularly go get the pretty inexpensive um, food because I'm a member there, so I can buy them for uh, the retailer price. So um, I get some nice fruits they have, and um, then I let them sit at home until they're ripe and perfect. And that's not the case. We have two bin, two pears here. Delicious. And I will put some pears into a bowl for the soup. The pears are very nice with ginger, 
It has a very nice cacao that's perfect. And um, so I guess this soup, I wanted to make this soup especially um, for this combination of pears and cacao. Um, it's a perfect combination, classic. So here pears and um, with pear together also very nice are walnuts. Another nut I made recently with pears um, that was hazelnut, also perfect, but walnut also very perfect. If you have a bitter walnut, some are, then you have to soak them for two hours or so, then you wash it, rinse it, and you can have, the bitter flavor is mostly out. You can also soak it overnight to make it really nice and crunchy, but, but it is okay. Um, if they are not bitter, yeah, these are okay. And then they are very nice with the pears together. And now I show you, I go to back to my, to my soup. I maybe I have to blend it again to make it a little bit creamier. I taste it. One, one more blending, shortly. Mm, wow, that flavor really, <laughs> wow. <laughs> of trick, a little secret, especially when I didn't soak the main ingredients, like the seeds or so nuts, then a second blending after a minute or two makes a real difference, yeah. Uh, I've seen that many times and it's very nice and it doesn't cost any time here, almost, here now. Pears and walnuts together with this wonderful cacao peanut banana soup. Mm. See, it's my breakfast for today and it's really rich breakfast. Yeah. The protein in there, the peanuts, the nuts, and the walnuts, cacao, also a kind of bean, nuts, bean, this high in fat, full of nutrients. Also, the special ingredients, the cacao, um, that makes it really, the, makes it really um, um, durable. It takes for a while until I have, I'm hungry again. Very satisfying, really wonderful. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to have this breakfast now. I will have two bowls of these. I have some more pears, some more soup. So it's a nice helping for one dish, uh, one meal, a breakfast, uh, for example, as is a sweet. And then I will have another salad today, maybe uh, some veggies or a cauliflower rice or something. In between, maybe, if I still feel hungry, maybe a piece of cake. So three meals a day is an option or the third meal can also be replaced by snacks, yeah? Some nuts here and there, when they are not processed, very healthy, um, and uh, you don't gain weight by that, by the way. Did you know that? <laughs> so, or another fruit, or crackers and spreads. So, third meal, if necessary, or okay, can be replaced in my, in my, in my daily life uh, with some snacks or so. So sometimes I don't need a third meal. I just have some snacks. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's maybe uh, most important yeah, for today. Uh, together with this soup, some information what I what else I would eat in a day. But this for sure, with the peanuts, with the walnuts, with the bananas and all the cacao will keep for some time and make me satisfied um, on my desk. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, thumbs up. Thumbs up. And maybe you want to subscribe and MD Vegan on YouTube, then you have another recipe every single day. And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.